Yo, so today I'm here to say basically, <laughs> I'll explain the old thing, but basically, um, yeah, I'm moving into a shed. Basically, what it is, is I've started seeing the doctors again because of my depression and anxiety and shit. And they've basically said, again, they reckon it'd be better if I move back with my parents. The problem is, um, there's the house ain't big enough because they've only got a three bedroom house and that. They've still got like my sister and my brother there and that. And obviously my little sister, she's like too young and she, also because she's sister you're not allowed to share a room if it's brother and sister if they're over seven age. And my brother, he's like me, he cannot physically share a room with like one of his, well with anyone, unless like, well with me I can with partner, but like, with things like mates and that, like, I couldn't trust them, like I can let them stay, yeah. but for like sharing an actual room, nah, because like, I get severely paranoid, like, that someone's gonna like try taking my shit or going through my shit when I'm not there or when I'm asleep, and that, so, Obviously, for those reasons, I can't, but they've got like a big shed down the bottom of their garden, like, I can't remember the measurements, I think it's something like 12 foot by 10 foot or something, but we're like, it's all like properly getting insulated out and that, roofing's getting done so it's a lot better than normal shed roofing and that, and we're redoing the windows, running electric down from the house and everything, so it's going to be like, proper like, basically like a mini house for me, made out of wood, so yeah, going to have my living in there, going to have my mic set up to do my music, going to have everything in there, maybe even get a few more pets, <laughs> actually saying that, I could go and get my snake and I'll show you them, Two sets. Like a checkers board, as my brother in law says. Well, his exact words were you can play checkers on his underneath. But it slowly goes down to more yellow from the white. I don't know if you can see because of the light and that. Yeah, he's a lovely little baby. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Go on. Yeah, I got him. Um, and a three foot bit, full set up, everything, and that lights, fucking heat mat, all bedding already in there and that, 30 quid, I was like, I can't argue with that when you're paying like about 35, 40 quid just for a snake and it's for a normal corn, like normal Carolina corn sort of thing. I don't actually know what he is, I've been told that it may be a classic corn. Because I did ask um, someone who does videos on YouTube about um, snakes and that, and she said that it's probably a classic corn, which I don't mind what it is because he's just fucking lovely and you know? that, beautiful. But um, I'm not sure, but it'd be interesting to find out for sure what he is. Because, like, he's got, you look on him and he's got, like, little grey and some of them are white but like dots not dots as in like scars or anything actual dots on 
um, what is it, on these actual scales. Right, if I can find one. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one just there, half my finger, and that. And he's got, he's got them um, all up his body in all different sizes and that. But it's just like little bits and they slowly fade out and that. So, yeah. And he does this, he has this cool sort of, I doubt you can see it. No, you won't be able to see it because of the light. But he's got this cool, like, sort of, when the light catches him just right, more so on his underneath, you start getting that sort of, you know if you pick up a shell on the beach and that, and you can tell, like, I see the inside of some of the shells, I like Mother of Pearl, and when it, when the light's on it, it goes like that sort of weird sort of warped rainbow -y sort of thing. That's what his underside comes up like, and it's like, they say when they go dusty looking, and their eyes milk over it, means that they're sh getting ready to shed or for shedding, but... M, it seems to be most of the light, about well, half the time when the light catches him, he actually looks dust, this um, skin looks dust, dusty, so it's like, I'm not actually sure what that's all about, but, yeah, Rasta Snake, I did upload a video, I think, with him, and, but, yeah, this isn't even about him, it's just, I thought I'd bring him out and show you, because, I don't know, he's been out with me all day. <laughs> I went over to my mate's house, he came with me, came back, he went to shops, and he came with me. He don't like it when I put him away though, because I put him away in that, and he keeps on trying to start going up my arm, when I'm trying to get him to go into the viv, so, yeah. He's a nice little one though. He looks like he's smiling as well at times. No. No, I've got a shit camera, so it's not really showing up. But yeah. So anyway, I'm going to be living in a shed by the sounds of it. Could be interesting. No, I would love... I wouldn't would mind that, actually. He might be laugh. I'm into the whole hippie thing, so... Yeah. So good. Alright, I'm gonna go.